A bit of news out of the Nations League where Cristiano Ronaldo has tested positive to COVID-19. Um, he's not, certainly not the first footballer to do so. I mean, Neymar, Ibrahimovic, Mane, Thiago Alcantara, even Mbappe, almost at the start of it. But um, certainly the biggest name and certainly does have ripple effects through not only the Nations League, through the Serie A, through the Champions League. And judging by some of his photos, Johnny, on social media, a fair few of the Portuguese team who have all tested negative with him today, but they were out for dinner in very close proximity to each other the other night. Um, your reaction to this, it's, it is a concern because it's going, it, it's going to catch up with football if it keeps going like this. Yeah, it's a concern. Uh, I saw the photos at dinner. Ronaldo was in the middle of everything. So he was uh, the head of the table, as you expect, and uh, he was taking a selfie. Um, it's not only Serie A and Champions League. It's, uh, you know, the, the majority of the Portuguese players play in the Premier League and all over Europe. So it is a worry. Um, and it does seem like it's catching up. The second wave is hitting Europe big time. Um, what's going to happen to the leagues, we don't know. At the moment, I like that they keep, like, the majority of the leagues are, uh, are playing on still. Um, I know in Serie A, they didn't play uh, between Napoli and Juventus, but that was only because Napoli didn't turn up. They still were supposed to play that game. Um, so it, it's, what's this space? Because it, it, if it keeps on going like this, are we going to suspend the leagues again? And uh, that's going to hurt everyone, I think. Were you surprised, John, that they, they've they gone so all in on the international window? I mean, we're loving it. It's great. It's great entertainment. But is it? A, I know they've got to fit up filling these games, but these aren't World Cup qualifiers. They are Nations League games. Um, were you surprised they went ahead with it at this rate of knots, including a full set of friendly fixtures as well? I'm surprised that the, yeah, the friendly fixtures uh, took place. Uh, you know, three games in a space of uh, a little over a week for the national teams, I think it's too much anyway. And then with what's going on with the coronavirus, I think it was unnecessary. Um, and then this morning, uh, we'll talk a little bit later about it, but I'm watching Spain uh, travel to the Ukraine and uh, it's a full house. And, you know, we're going, where, where, does it, uh, where does it stop? Where does it begin? Players are still, you know, living their no lives normally. When it first started, they weren't able to hug each other when they celebrated a goal. They had to keep their distance. That's all gone. You know, everyone's hugging each other again. Everyone's shaking hands. Um, occasionally, you'll see a fist pump here and there. Occasionally, you'll see, you know, the people on the bench with face masks. But it's, it's actually, they've, uh, it's been very laxed of late. And the second wave is coming. It is there already. They have to start to be a little bit stricter, I think.